Okay, we're going to show you how to do our milk fireworks activity. And for this, we need a shallow bowl. We need some food colors. I've got some dish soap. It's just a Dawn dish soap. And a little, little cup here to hold it. And a toothpick. And then I've got some milk. I'm using whole milk. And I've warmed it up to room temperature. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it oh not quite an inch thick in there and you want to be really careful not to bump your bowl now when we when we do this and what we're going to do is we're going to put one drop of each color of food coloring very carefully on the surface we don't want them to move around we want them to sit there like little colored islands and i'm putting them towards the center drop of yellow drop of green and a drop of red. You want to very gently put them in there. You want the drops to be as small as possible. And now we don't want to bump the bowl. We want that milk to be very still. I'm going to get a little bit of dish soap on the end of my toothpick here. And I'm just going to let the drop fall into the milk. Let me get a little more. Let the drop fall into the milk and watch what happens. So basically the milk is composed of all kinds of fats and sugars and proteins and all kinds of things that are suspended in the milk. We call that an emulsion. And a lot of those molecules, especially the fats and the proteins, really don't want to, to uh, mix with each other. And so they form the fats form globules and the proteins form micelles, micelles, and that allows them to stay suspended in the water with the milk, which is mostly water. When we put the soap in there, the soap disturbs all that chemistry, all those chemical reactions, or all those uh, uh, molecular interactions in there. And basically the soap has a, at one end that's hydrophilic and one end that's hydrophobic and it tries to grab the fats and the proteins and in the process it stirs everything up. We have a lot better explanation on our website so you can follow that link in the comments below or the caption below. I'm going to put just a little more soap in there. You want to be very patient with this if you don't want to put too much soap in. Sometimes you think nothing's happening and it might look like nothing's going on for a minute or two and then suddenly it just starts exploding again. And we'll just watch this for a few more seconds. You can see how the colors dive down into the water and then can emerge in a completely different place like a little colored volcano or like a firework shell bursting. You can also use a q-tip uh, with the soap and you can let the drop hit the surface or you can actually touch it to the surface. You want to try not to stir up the milk. You want the, the molecules to do all the moving. You get a nice blue volcano erupting to the left at center here. Looks like we're going to get a, another one erupting up and to the right of that one. And sometimes if you're lucky this can go on for several minutes and if it stops and, and like I say you want to be patient and wait for a minute or so but if it really seems to be stopped and not doing anything go ahead and add a little more soap but but ours seems to be erupting very nicely so we're just gonna watch it for oh another minute I think and then we'll stop this video as I say there's lots more detailed instructions given on our website at coolscience.org. One thing that's fun about this activity is that every time you do it, it'll be different. You get different patterns. Sometimes it's, it's very slow and doesn't do much. Sometimes it'll go much faster and be much more active.
but you can experiment with different types of milk, um, low fat milk, whole milk, half and half. You can also experiment with temperature. My milk here is at room temperature. Try cold milk, try warmer milk. So that's so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, but that's our milk fireworks activity. And like I say, give it a try. Uh, you know, you get something different every time, and you can see mine is still erupting after six, almost six minutes now.